Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play. We have a very special guest today, New York Times best-selling author and National Book Award finalist, Nana Kwame Ajay Brenya. Welcome to Let's Play. How's it going? I appreciate it. <laughs> also, in addition to that, he's also a big JRPG fan and a Final Fantasy VII fan, so we figured. I'm also a Night Elf Druid, we talked about this. <laughs> totally, That's totally. That's important. No, I'm just kidding. So today, yeah, we're gonna go into some Final Fantasy VII. He's never played Remake before, right? Yep. But he has played the original one, so we're going to get his initial Not all the way through, though. Reactions. I just don't want to be a poser. <laughs> I haven't played the original all the way through, but I'm playing it now. And I played it not for this. I was doing it on my own. I want to make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> He's a real fan. <laughs> He's a really self-conscious yeah. person. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to come yeah, and play with yeah, us. Yeah, we're really excited. This is like probably one of the coolest things I've had to do. All right, so I'm going to get it going for you, and I guess... A question oh, yeah. for you is also, do you want to play on normal or do you want to play on easy? Why, why are those the only choices? Definitely normal. <laughs> I'm not a coward. <laughs> Here yeah. you go. If you're being Hollow Knight. <laughs> I just want everyone to know yeah. that. If you've been Hollow Knight, I think this will, this <laughs> you will be you, you guys get it. You guys, have oh, you guys played Hollow Knight? Ooh. I have not, but it's, it's I'm annoying. familiar with it. Oh, we're going? Yeah, oh, we're, we're going. Here. Oh, this is the beginning. Oh, so this is all new to you. Brand new. It's not really, again, I under, I know like the concept yeah. and I know the story. Gotcha. I'm playing the original, but this is brand new. Do you know kind of what the remake has been going for versus the original? I've watched reviews, and I actually just watched a review of the new part of the remake, part two. Yeah, because this one's very much, you know, stepping into that multiverse concept yeah. that is very popular at the moment. And <laughs> by the time that the second part is coming out, I would even say almost, you know, kind of overdone. Extremely overdone. You could say that. They're not here. <laughs> it's almost like they want to make more money off a of popular IP. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, for sure. Extremely overdone. But it, it this one's interesting because it, there's um, there's very few things that have had as much like staying power culture. Like I said, that's from 1997. Can you, can, maybe nothing except for like, I don't know, Pikachu and Pokemon. Yeah. But actually those are different because they've been ongoing. Like what else yeah. from like that period that has, that was finite sort of has like, Sephiroth is like, like he's like just like the, he is the final boss, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and just kind of like, I remember before the remake was announced, it was like every E3 would be like, is are they gonna is do something remake? with Final Fantasy yeah. VII? And, like, and, and I think they do a good job of, just in terms of, uh, like I, like understanding the thing they, like Advent Children came out, like maybe 10 years after the game was out to be like, Yep, we know you still love this thing. Here you go. I love that Advent Children was, you know, such an excuse for them to just be like, we want to do a really cool tech demo. Yeah, really. And it was <laughs> the plot was <laughs> ridiculous or convoluted beyond comprehension. But the like fight <laughs> between Cloud and Sephiroth, great. It's it's pivotal. Yeah. I mean, it's, this game is basically like the way it looks. It's basically Advent Children. This it's is beautiful. Crazy I also I love yeah. that they kept you know the colorfulness in the look of this game. Because like more recent Final Fantasies have been very mm, desaturated, dreary, dreary. I actually, what do you guys think about this too? Like, and I'm feeling this a little bit playing the original. I don't know if y'all have played Final Fantasy VII originally though. Yep. Yeah. So, also I'm the only like poser you guys are saying. <laughs> um, but so because of Advent Children, I've been thinking about this too, and I can see it now that I've played it. I don't know if we should be talking like about we see Eris and all this stuff, and you know. No spoiler, but we know what happens. Let's begin the Eris Aerith debate <laughs> right off the start. Symbolism. <laughs> yeah, a yeah. flower stepped on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a metaphor, kids. <laughs> no. Um, oh, what I was going to say. Sorry. What I was going to say is that they, uh, a lot of people are, not a lot of people. I've heard that people think that Advent Children is sort of, basically a lot of people's idea of cloud now it comes from having children more than the final game. Mm. And it's very like emo, sad boy. Yeah. Yeah. And that's more having children than the original, in my opinion. And something that I really do like about the remake is they set out trying to be like, no, Cloud is this character and we're trying to give him a lot more meat and just he's like- He's a little goofy a little bit. Yeah. He has some goofiness. Yeah. And he's going through it. The yeah. horrors are occurring to he's him. He's traumatized <laughs> as hell. But like, they went full goth in Advent Children, which is okay too. And it looks cool. And kind of like a sign of what was popular at the time. And that whole world, talk about the dreary, and it's almost like that. Because there's almost like a steampunky, especially Midgar and Midgar energy that like, I don't know, it, in Advent Children, it was very like that concrete, 
dark, except for like that contrast of the green from the. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna just start. <laughs> There's a lot of games are like that now, right? Like the tutorial is like a play. This is the power of like making your interests really clear. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I'm. I met Julianne in person the first time at Comic Con. Oh right. And I was in full cosplay. Who were oh, you yeah. cosplaying? As what? It was uh, my own <laughs> character. I'll show you the pictures if I don't feel too embarrassed. Okay. It's, uh, not, I won't feel too embarrassed. <laughs> I can show you some of the pictures of my cosplay if it makes it less I, embarrassing. I was like a Naruto, nondescript Naruto ninja, but it, I had a, a storyline and everything. I had a story that was taller than my body. I'm 6'2". <laughs> <laughs> so I have to uh, obviously off the bat talk about Barrett, uh, yeah. a highly present black character in this space that is, that's never ever a thing. Another reason why. Uh, Final Fantasy VII is just so iconic. Also, I feel like, I, I wonder, you guys will know better than me if like, this game does what I hope it does, which is talk about the the, the reality that um, Cloud and his friends are eco-terrorists. It does touch pretty nicely. There is kind of that dilemma way, I mean. of, <laughs> like, they are doing bad things for the greater good. Yeah. You have to press well. the like start button to get out. See, I was like, do you want to play on normal or easy? You said normal <laughs> already. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the cool thing is once you go into the menu, it kind of goes into this bullet time. So you have plenty of time to Every out. time though? Yeah, so the way it works, you have like these like normal attacks. Yeah. And then that fills up your gauge. Oh, And every time you get a gauge, you can use one of those oh, special cool. attacks. And those are like more powerful. Yeah. And that's the first one in the game too. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they did a lot of. They had to do that using though. everything from the original <laughs> game. But I, like, does the does that menu come up automatically, or that was just because it was tutorial mode? You it have to press comes X. Up, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Like in the when you're in a fight. When yeah, I press just, X, so I just, okay, because I don't want to do it all the time. Yeah. Is, is, there, is there a dodge robot? I, I believe think it's with circle. circle. Yeah. They didn't give it to me at yeah, this tutorial. You might only be able to do it when you're in combat. Yeah. I also like the little thing where they have Cloud hit level seven when you do that first fight. Oh yeah, I remember <laughs> that from the original game. <laughs> I do also love that, like, for the updated cloud, they kind of made him a little scrawnier than yeah. he once the was. And it's like, arms. Mm. <laughs> maybe he's not quite the badass he implies he is. Maybe he, maybe the sword is trying to make up for something. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze, there you go. go ahead. You can use a gaze to perform battle commands such as, and that's the same thing we already discussed with X, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah, so you like do the normal attack with square, and then you can bring okay. up the fancy attack menu yeah. with X. And that's like your abilities, your spells, your items. I just love, love like from a, like a storytelling perspective, how it just like throws you right in. I was, I, I, I was gonna say something about that, because oh, yeah. it, it sort of become the, a little bit the standard, right? Like, is just X with icon or with icon? It's just like yeah, when there's like an icon, you, like you will automatically jump over something. Yeah. Icon that you can, yeah, go. Oh. <laughs> Cloud Strife is a, he does not pay his fare for riding the subway. <laughs> oh, no. Get Eric Adams after him. <laughs> Eric Adams wants to kill him and destroy his bike. <laughs> oh, God. We're trying to say Eric Adams sucks. <laughs> Oh, the, oh, my first time taking damage. This was supposed to be a no damage run. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up. We have to start over, guys. Oh, my God. You're like, they're not going to let me write another book. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's pretty intuitive. It's not that hard. Like, I mean, which I didn't think it would be. Um, but it's um, it's good to know this is the system. And yeah, that's just Sh triangle, triangle to open chest. Triangle's like the X button instead of, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that'll help you remember it. Triangle's <laughs> the X button. <laughs> Triangle's the A button in this case. The generic interaction. I just love the lighting in this game. It just looks so beautiful. Look at that glinting glow. off his sword. I know, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, but what you were gonna say about tutorials, I think about this too, and to me it's actually useful for um, for writing as well. Not that, I don't know that y'all like, like talk about I guess we're talking about the story stuff. Yeah, that is the point of this, right? Like, yeah, yeah, totally. yeah. So when you're writing a story, especially like a conceit heavy story, like sometimes, you know, when you have like younger writers or even myself, like you want to just make it really clear or painstakingly clear that like 
this is the situation someone so, so that someone is, things are not missed you know yeah and i what i really love about writers like um george who's um one of my george Saunders, who's one of my great mentors oh nice yeah and professors he has a pretty intense uh conceit and he just throws you right in you know and you you learn by doing so to speak and you could there's always a version where you stop the action and press a which this is doing a little bit but i like games where they teach you by they have your character moving and then there's a gap and i think that it's interesting because they have to kind of rely on um a sort of collective consciousness of games that exist already now that like they kind of assume that like you understand like some of these very basic fundamentals about things like that and that you just figure out by doing did you ever play half-life Two specifically. No, but I know about it a lot. It's like, it's always my go-to of it's such a good game in it that it like gives you things and then teaches you in the environment rather than being like, stop and read something. I've seen uh, actually videos about it though. And like the example that they always use is like, the certain enemy, when they, the way they get you to finally know with the gravity gun and the salt, you know, like things yeah. like this. I Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. We, we missed that cutscene, but I don't think we needed it. <laughs> It's, it's gonna what be do like you think about the updated like design character designs? Um, I mean, some of them again like it's weird because you're going off of Advent Children is like the closest reference, right? Yeah, yeah probably. Um, but if I go from the the game game, I think it's beautiful. It also like there's like a grit to it, but like you said, like there's still like some color, especially I know like, when we get out. I like his design. It's a little bit over, it's overdone, but it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's like, he's like super crazy big, but I like it. I do always find it funny because like, in the remake, Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse are much more characters than they were in the original, but you can still see in the models that they're like less important. They put less effort into like yeah. making them. Yeah. What's the company called? Shinra? Yeah, Shinra. Yeah. Yeah, yeah what I like about it too is they, like, they are like intimidating looking too though. So it definitely like fits with that whole idea of, okay, these people like, they do look kind of like scary and it, it opens you up to kind of like it, explore more of their characters as you like learn more about them and they kind of, you'll kind of like soften them up, I think. Is it the, is it the pad or is it left analog? Uh, so it's R3, which is like pressing in. Pressing in, the, in got you. Yeah, honestly, I feel like the targeting is not really so useful in this game. <laughs> you just be. You can just smack everything. <laughs> Ooh. Look at those sparks. Oof. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, fuck, I didn't want it to touch me. But look, you got a trophy. Oh, nice. <laughs> Staggered him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely deserve that trophy. Because we all need constant dopamine. <laughs> I like how when they die, you can see them, like, returning to the, the life thing, stream. Life stream. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, cool touch. Ooh, that's a nice little... Where is it? Oh. That was cool. He was really pointing, but, like, my eyes are just bad. <laughs> I, I what I what I'm, I'm also interested in like. The, can you imagine the pressure being on the team for this game? Oh yeah. Like imagine that pressure, and even like when they were even with the music, it has probably the most famous score except for like do 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 do. Or I was trying to do the Mario. Like, you know, <laughs> do, 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 yeah, except no. for that, like this is like the most probably the most famous music in games that has also kind of transcended yeah. games as well. And like there's just so many elements of it that feel very. And there definitely have been Final Fantasy, like, I guess remasters is the right word, where they've redone some of the music to be not as great as it was originally. Yeah, and people talk about that a lot. <laughs> yeah. What I think, what I really like what they did with this is they took, like, some of the popular themes and they they didn't, they didn't like, redo it. They kind of, like, built around them. So they, like, My added all this, like, orchestration and, like, arrangements to sort of, like, help with transitions and... There's so many different like versions of popular themes too. Like you can tell they really gave a shit about the music in this game. Yeah, I didn't know these guys could do um, 
had guns, even though I guess it's <laughs> obvious. So I think maybe with guns too many times. Yeah, it's always interesting, like the world rules in this game, where you have these guys like running around with swords, fighting people with machine guns. Swords <laughs> always beat guns in the anime yeah. world. The guy with the sword is, the, is God. Yeah. Run away from the guy with the regular sword, <laughs> or the big sword in this case. Also, there are multiple scenes in this game that are it's like Cloud dangling off a ledge, and I'm like, drop the sword. Yeah. <laughs> Never drop the sword. It's his whole personality. <laughs> we didn't have the sword. He's just a regular emo guy. Um, yeah, they went through the gate. This is uh, this is actually going to reveal like my worst. Not really, because I think it's going to be a little bit linear for this section. I'm so bad at like, um, so bad at like uh, directions in general, and in games, it's like <laughs> my weakness. I'm trying to re beat the remake of Metroid Prime right now. Which is like one of my favorite. Oh, it's a big little group of y'all. <laughs> I'm already like, part of me is like, do I have a potion? <laughs> I think you, you do. do. Actually, yeah. Okay, good to know. But you're doing pretty good on health. Yeah, you're doing. You've got more I'm than half of it. I'm an anxious person, so you can see like, <laughs> I'm already like, oh. Yeah, I he think fell, he fell off, or did he die? Oh, he's got two. One way wow. or another, he died. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. You can use potions like now if you go to if you hit X and go to items. Yeah, you can just is. It's the top one, yeah. It's on the left. Do you see that? Oh, I do see that. Yeah, you got it. I just want to see how big it can get. <laughs> yeah, so you're okay. 9, 17 yeah, out of 10, something. 26 okay. now. Yeah. yeah, I need to be, because I feel like a bigger fret's coming. Yeah. Oh, there's always a bigger fish. <laughs> I think you have to hold it for that one, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's really small text, sorry. But <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's why we have a team. But yeah, what I think is cool, and you could probably speak this to Nana, like when you're creating like an imagined future or a reality, yeah. like how much, how do you like pace how much of the information about the world to the That's to a the really audience? smart question. <laughs> you had to preload it or you, it's a, it's a, it's a good question. <laughs> I, um, I try to mind the character's business, right? So first off, what I was looking at just now is like how cool this is, because this is how the game starts, you know? Um, or I remember a, the, the scene of, I remember the scene. Yeah. Um, I try to mind the character's business. And so what I mean by that is like, say the, the, the way I give an example is imagine like an alien just landed um, on this planet, but you know you have to get them to your house and they're like, we're here. Uh, and you know that there's people, if they find you with the alien, they're gonna kill you and the alien. As you're running, you're not going to be like, hey, uh, E.T., so this is the country known as America, and we have a, a three-pronged government with a legislative branch and executive <laughs> yeah. branch, and you know what I'm saying? Um, and also, we, you know, what we're going to say is, like, those things that are rushing towards you with headlights, don't let them hit you because they'll you'll die. Yeah, we're gonna and we're good, but we're gonna get into one of them to get to where we need to go. So what I'm trying to say is like, I I build based on like what is pertinent to the character in the moment, and so like, just like even in this game, like we know like this is our gang and we have to um, um, move through whatever we haven't had yeah. to learn. Like it'd be weird if they start talking about. All the live stream and Shinra stuff, but that, but you, but we have learned about the live streams. Like what I, what, what's kind of cool though is, oh no, no, I have to like pause. It. Like it's <laughs> like we could by adding them dissipate to the live stream. We're starting to learn about it without having learned about it too. Yeah, so yeah. you can describe something. You don't have to say the whole thing. It's a phenomenon that's still true. And if you were writing it, you can put some narrative emphasis on it by just including it. But we can't go into like a. Uh, a long ex explanation of it because a that wouldn't be true to the moment and also it was, wouldn't be fun so to me it's about like what's engaging to the reader but also using the characters like immediate physical reality usually and or psychological reality as like the primary sort of you know compass yeah also it's like it's another writing thing in a game specifically where it's like yeah they have to unload the dead models they have to go somewhere yeah so it's like if you don't know what's going on you're just like oh it's a game mechanic and eventually you will learn. <laughs> his, his, his special ability is to do what? <laughs> With Cloud's mode shift ability, you can switch oh, between yeah. his balanced operator mode and his attack oriented punisher mode. Oh, punisher mode, got it. So, yeah. Yeah, so basically triangle. it's like you, yeah, you do stances. more damage, but you move slower. Oh, yeah. he's alone, we can take him. <laughs> <sighs> Famous last words. So yeah, I think, oh, yeah, now cool. you're in Punisher mode, yeah. 
it, it really just affects like your your regular attacks. Yeah, did you play any of the like Jedi oh. Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor games? I didn't, but I, I've, I've, I've seen them. I know what you're talking about. Every single fight in those is like, the Jedi, we can take him. No, you can't. <laughs> also, like, yeah, I'm a Jedi, especially if, like the regular clone type stand-ins. It's like, um, come on, guys. If I were making a game, I would make, I mean, many games have done this at this point where they've discussed that, like, the issue of, like, don't do it, don't hurt me. But I would have a lot of that. Like, I'm a person with dreams, too. <laughs> what do you call that? The idea that, like, even, all these, even though all these people are being murdered, we don't think of our characters as, like, murder, like, ludonarrative Ludo dissonance. Ludonarrative dissonance. Yeah. yeah, it's, like, yeah. when the player's doing something that they don't want to do. The best, this game is a little different because, like, it's so fantasy-based. But I think about that, like, uh... What's his name? Uncharted. Oh yeah. Yeah. Think yeah, about we how many people about you that killed. once. Yeah. Think about how many people you killed in Uncharted. Mass murderer Nathan Drake. <laughs> mass, mass murderer. <laughs> like he's a murderer, murderer. Like he's. <laughs> you can tell that they're really trying to pace you, pace you, pace yeah. you, pace you, pace you, pace you. Like it. Like here's a door. Press triangle. Here's another door. Press triangle. You cannot get through this door. But yeah, the little narrative thing is really interesting. It's not really my business, but are you guys close? I like Tifa a lot. You were saying Tifa. Aerith or who though? You uh, were saying you were saying not you were saying you weren't saying Aerith or Tifa. You were saying Oh, Aerith or Eris, you know. Oh, how do you say it? Oh, how do you say it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's really Eris. I think um, It's Aerith. I say Aerith. Yeah, because I think the way, because in the original PlayStation version, it like the US version said Aeris, but I think that was like a yeah, translation. I say Aerith, but only yeah. because I've, that's how I yeah. read it. Because <laughs> like, like, only that's how it's written. <laughs> 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 that's not what I was trying to say, but that's what it came out like. Yeah, I think they said like it was just one guy's responsibility to translate the entire original game. And he forgot, he got one of yeah, the main, he got a little, main, he got a little main tired, character yeah. wrong. He's, He's like, like, I'm not going back and changing that. <laughs> hey, control F, my guy. <laughs> hey, bro, <laughs> that's a big one. Imagine Cloud's name was like Rain instead. Claude or... <laughs> Claude. 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 I mean, back in the original era, you could name him anything you want. True. Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. Very true. That's some history for you. <laughs> But I like Tifa a lot, anyway, is what I was trying to say. Yeah. I like her style, I like her swag. Yeah, I'm definitely Team Tifa. Team Tifa, sure. Yeah. Which, so, like, with the second part coming out, you know, there's the whole kind of like, oh, are they going to kill off Aerith again? Are they going to kill off Tifa for a change? Spoiler I'm like, alert. Yeah, whoa, it's not spoilers. It is spoilers, <laughs> even though I know what you're saying. But I tried not to. I tried to, I alluded to the spoiler, but the flower getting crushed. That's what I was trying to say. That was the metaphor. <laughs> it's like, why does it have to be one of these two women has to die? <laughs> well, you don't know that, though. But I mean, just like, what do you, kind like of Aerith the fans has to die. having that stance of, Oh, well, if someone's going to die, it has to be one of these two love interests. Who's the other one? Either, like, Tifa or Aerith, kind of, like... Why would it not be Aerith, though? You really hear that? Yeah, I think you're getting into spoiler territory. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, because there's something in this? Not really, no. Because I think, like, what this game definitely plays around with the idea of people that have already knows the story you know what i mean oh that's what you meant with multiverse so this is like another like oh okay i get what you're saying with oh i, I what i was thinking i get what you're saying with the multiverse thing now so they they, they have access to like seeing like the reality where that the other potentially potentiality happens yeah that's like what that, you're trying yeah. to say oh okay i get it i get what you i get it now but to me it just makes sense because like there was a reason why that happened the first i mean actually you know what I, and I also, in that context, I do get what you're saying. Why does it have to be one of these two women? That makes sense. Okay. And I mean, I, I get that now. I would also say that, like, the only reason Aerith is, you know, such a popular character is because she dies. Yeah. But, but it's also, it's like, she died, but also she's like a, she's like goodness who dies. Like, she's like, and also, what I think about in terms of, like, my party structure early on in the game, playing it, like, so, like, so current, like, like, that's my healer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you killed my healer. That's a yeah, different yeah. kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? And in the original, doesn't she like take any equipment and whatnot you have on her? Yeah. Oh, Barrett's on your party. Gang, now. gang, gang, gang. Yeah. 
So you can actually switch, switch between them by, I think it's the left and right stick. Yeah. I, I, I this, let me see. Okay. So yeah, when you control Barrett, if you like hold down square. He shoots for a long time. I keep for, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a weird like menu closing system, but I guess they didn't want people to accidentally click through it. Oh. Do I have to only use him or can I just run up there with that? I think oh, wait, I can also. Yeah, he's got special attacks too. Yeah. Yeah, I think if for those, they're making it so you have to use Barrett. But. They're trying to make you like, you have <laughs> yeah, to get it. Forcing you. <laughs> it's a tutorial. And yeah, if you hold triangle, you have like an overcharge attack. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. But it doesn't do enough. Yeah. I understand how to use him. Let me <laughs> let them come closer. Yeah, it's not doing a lot of damage. I saw them complaining about him too, actually, though. I I, I saw people complaining about Bear. Oh, yeah? How come? I think they were like, felt like he was like weak. Yeah, it is a little strange because he's kind of uh, like a range character yeah. in this game. But he also is kind of, uh, I guess you'd call him like a sentinel type character because he has like a lot of HP and he has like certain abilities where he can sort of like tank and like... Uh, uh, is that how we talk like 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 range tanks or like sentinels? Yeah, That's a good I, I way guess, of thinking yeah. about that. Oh, it's not three of them. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Lock on, bro. Okay. Oh yeah, I think you're not hitting them. Yeah, because it only hits them when the numbers, numbers pop are up. Yeah. Out. It might just be the angle. Maybe it's hitting like the bottom. But I'm trying to like not get hit by the other one. <laughs> but yeah, you'd think an entire gun arm would Sorry. do more than like three damage a hit. <laughs> right. Well, does it, how does he? Because he never. I guess he kind of reloads, but it's not really clear. What's your clear. party's? Um, oh, oh, that, that was it. a clean hit, though. <laughs> maybe my maybe my overcharge hits where it weren't clean as I thought. <laughs> um, it's, it's the pad. Up or down or left or right? The pad. It's the like D pad. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the D pad. Yeah, the yeah. left. Yeah. I like that that whole fight. Cloud was just over in the corner. Yeah, guarding. That's the what I'm trying to say. Like, bro. Oh. Let me try these. Let's just make sure. I don't want to. I'm not gonna make my man seem like he's useless. One thing I think this game does really well is uh, the banter between the characters when you're yeah, like, that's in key. combat. Yeah, because what's cool about this game is you can, as you play through the story, it actually develops. Yeah. So like right now, Cloud and Barrett, they're kind of antagonistic towards each other. And yeah. That sort of like changes as you play through the game. It's kind of cool. And this is, I feel like one of the, okay, this is, this is another question I have about um, y'all's feeling about remakes and stuff. Cause, and, and, and I think in all these games, the banter is so key, which is why I think the Witch Call is kind of not that lit, the new one. It's- um, 16? Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. He's, it's, it's another sad goth guy, but by himself. <laughs> he's by himself. Yeah, yeah. The fighting is cool, but it's also, also it's not, to me, it's, it feels very fundamentally not a turn-based game. So, yeah, I've this, heard some people Chris say that it's like not it's technically an RPG. Don, like you feel like you're more like you're Dante. Yeah, than, yeah, yeah, it's um, very Devil May Cry. Than him, than that Final Fantasy. This feels like a really specific try and attempt of, and obviously I'm not good at it yet, but I can see like where they try to keep both. Yeah, definitely. what do you guys think about that, like preservation or not, and and the power, like utility of like. Um, of like the turn-based systems versus the yeah. sort of like knee-jerk energy of the current moment where it just feels very right now right now action 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 do you feel like turn-based is like a is antiquated inherently yeah. i have you played any of the yakuza games no i have not so i'm just coming off playing the most recent of those and that is a turn-based rpg and yeah. it's just like so well done i didn't know those were turn-based so that's they, a like a dragons they, yeah so they were like beat them up, but seven and eight are turn-based. They're like JRPG turn-based. Okay. And they're really fun, and like it's a really enjoyable turn-based combat. So it's like, oh, it is possible in the modern era. Yeah, I think for me, I I only like turn-based when there's a lot of strategy involved. Yes. If it's a game like, I don't know, like uh, like XCOM or something. Um, but I felt mm. like the turn-based. Aspects of like the old JRPGs, I, I actually never really liked that. I, I like the more modern kind of version. So I think this game does a good job of sort of balancing both, because you can play it like an action game. Like you, there's even a lot of shortcuts you can yeah. use if you want. 
so it feels like a very action game, but you do have the option of going into the menu and slowing it down. So it kind of gives you both, which I like. And I know people kind of flow the idea of like, oh, what if they did it so you could choose and it was both. And I feel like game mm. developers already have so much going on that it's like they would never be, you know, like fully realized if it was that Neither much one control. Would be great. It'd be jo- a master of none, and you want some kind of mastery of something. Unlike my Drew, who could do all of all the things a little bit. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like that. But like, it's like two different sides for me. I am a f- like I came up on those games, and that's why. I- oh, cool. <laughs> I I want to say, but I sh- I don't need to. But like my my the game for me is like I should hit save. I'm I'm not going to. <laughs> um, I, I feel like it's. I like turn-based games, and I and and XCOM is interesting because that's kind of more like strategy. That's like a the Fire Emblem type. Yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. RTS sort of. Probably yeah. Uh, I, I came up on like Fire Emblem and Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, and yeah. Um, those Love games Final and Fantasy even Tactics, uh, yeah. even um, like Advance Wars. So I'm into those. I the game that I played most recent that's a really interesting mix is um Xenoblade Three. Oh, I really want to play those. Xenoblade, those are Switch games, right? Yeah, Xenoblade Three is that's a JRPG, JRPG. <laughs> like I can't even try to sp- explain the story to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I, it's so hard for me to try, and, I, and it's a good story. I mean that in a good way. That's always what I say when you're approaching like JRPGs, <laughs> anime. Like, there's a certain level of like bullshit of the narrative that you just have to be ready to. <laughs> and it's, what's crazy is though, it's like it makes sense though too. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure this guy's um, health is okay. I can't wait. Cloud's at full health. But Barrett, me and Barrett can use some love. <laughs> Surely Barrett can oh, take you got care magic of himself now too. Oh yeah, I think Barrett has cure. Sweet. I'm that type of person. See, look at that. Look at that. I knew. I was like, <laughs> that thing's ready for business. Sorry, we're going to punish him on my guy. <laughs> oh, oh, you got fuck. magic. It's magic based. <laughs> was that was that why you were saying the magic? It was like a little like, <laughs> you, like you don't have to use it. You were like, use magic. <laughs> so funny. Ooh, got him with the fireball. <laughs> you guys are really nice. You guys are like a really supportive like parents. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> so funny. It's kind of dope to see like he, he's giving like that suppressing fire as you get to do like the other stuff. It's pretty like kind of interesting. It, it, it's a cool mix. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. The AI is pretty advanced in this game, so like the other character kind of does their own thing while you're controlling the other one. I mean, you would hope. I hate when like a character just stands there. It's yeah. like I'm fighting for my life out here. <laughs> Please. He probably needs another spell in a second. I'll go back to operator mode for a second. So Nana, oh. since you since you're a JRPG fan. Is there any old school RPGs that you would like to see get this kind of remake treatment? Um, one of my favorite games ever is, um, um, I don't know if I need it to be all this, but in the, in the, in the Tales series is still going. Oh, so, yeah. but Tales of Symphony is, is one of my favorite games ever. Oh, oh my nice. gosh. I have played Vesperia. Yeah. But I... Vesperia is great too. Last January installed Symphonia on my computer and it's just like the icon every time I log on. I'm like, oh. someday I'll start you. It's, my, it's one of my favorite games ever. What was, was that a PlayStation game? It was on, I played on, on GameCube actually. Oh, GameCube? Oh, yeah. Um, very, which way did we come? See, this is my problem. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think you're going that way. way. Oh yeah, there's the that icon little icon like, top, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's what jumps to my mind right away, but it, in some ways, that like, not really, because they also have like a not. It's not turn. It's Vesperia system, sort of with the circle thing. It's 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 not turn based, but it has a a, 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 a constraint. Mm. If you want to talk, if you want to think about it that way, a physical constraint. My favorite thing about those games is me and my roommate played Vesperia during the pandemic, and you know the little skits between yeah. characters. We were just like, why are they on a Zoom call with each other? I know the little boxes. <laughs> I love those. <laughs> And what I was gonna say also with the convolutedness about it is that like, even though like it's hard to explain like Final Fantasy VII, it's cohesive though mostly. They add a lot of stuff. Uh, well, Final Fantasy VII can get out there, but like, what I feel grateful for with the anime stuff is, 
I could be like 12 and be like, yeah, this is a story about a kid who finds a notebook of a death god and now he's sort of the, wants to be the rule of the world, but also it's a detective thing and there's a detective there and it's also this like, yeah. can, these is what they call Shinigamis and, yeah. <laughs> and they are, uh, they have and it feels totally cohesive to me. And to oh, me, man. it's like good because it, it's, it's your baseline like pliability for like sort of what narrative sort of can be yeah. is like higher, I think. And so for us, like, if you've taken that stuff in as a young, as a yeah. young age, it's not crazy. Yeah. Like this, like for some people, like they'd be like, what the f, f is happening here? Yeah. I've heard you people know? like play this for the first time. They're like, why are they speaking like that? I'm like, it's just, that's just how it is. You like, gotta roll with fine. it. <laughs> you know? Or even look at the sword size. Like this is, it's absurd. There's absurdism. Yeah. There's like a, there's an absurd piece. Yeah. Like, and it, it, it helps for me. I think it really, when people, Anime comes up, up, oh shit! Anime comes up a lot in my, in a lot of in my events, because it it's, it it trained me that like you can have these over the top conceits, these yeah. um, pretty interesting ideas, um, um, and uh, die. Sorry. Yeah. I've what is the bad part of operating mode? Is I'm slower. I mean, yeah. a Punisher mode, yeah, rather. Yeah. Yeah, I've been reading through Dungeon Meishi at the moment, which is like just getting just getting an anime adaptation, and it's one that like at a plot level you think wouldn't work, but the author does a really good job. Yeah, I like. There's so many. It just reminds you that it's not about like you can go as crazy as you want to go. It's just how do you execute it? And, and we'll be willing to go. The reader will be willing to go. The reader, the player, whatever, will be willing to go pretty far if you like handle them with care. And you kind of have to like commit to that world. Like commit if you it. think it's ridiculous, so is the reader or player. I, okay, so exactly. So in Xenoblade 3, <laughs> <laughs> you're a group of like soldiers who can only live, I think it's like five years. Oh. And everyone is like that. All your friends are like that. You serve this like higher piety thing. And there's another group that does the same thing. They also only live like five ish years in these different bases. Some of them like base one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are one side, base A, B, C, D, E, F, G on the other side. But uh, at a certain point in the game, you discover the power of the Ouroboros. So like there's three on your one side, three on the other side. You all yeah. become grouped together. Six people party system. You're all fighting at once, first of all. So you could imagine the that's already like yeah, it's a mechanically lot. convoluted. <laughs> um, you could become this thing where Ouroboros, which is like um, you confuse with someone, almost like Steven Universe yeah. kind of thing. The Ouroboros, that's the, the snake eating itself? The snake eating itself, yeah. which is an important like, like idea. But yeah, but they call it the Ouroboros. Even though it has nothing oh, okay. to do with that per se, even oh, though it does you. like spiritually maybe. So you and me confuse and become this other thing that's like brief thick and impossible to, to destroy and like way stronger. So like this group, the six people, so there's three groups of potential Ouroboros, but actually the six pops up because like there's like, one is more dominant than the other. Say so like you and me have Ouroboros. There's one where I'm dominant, do, like the more dominant version. There's one where you're the more dominant version. This is all like the core like gameplay <laughs> things. <laughs> and not even getting into like the, oh, man. how it grows. And so, but like, I I love that story. And it's totally fine. Then here we have like an ex-soldier who's also a mercenary working with these eco-terrorists who's traumatized by what? Uh, a, an angel of some sort, <laughs> we, we think, or we see a wing. Or a bird. A bird, <laughs> no spoilers, I guess. <laughs> and. Oh, big decision. What you mean? <laughs> For how long before it blows up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, bold move. Oh. <laughs> I'm not scared, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. Uh oh. Didn't count on the. A boss? I didn't, on, 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 I didn't count on a boss fight. <laughs> I did. Heads up. What the hell? I could only change party members in fights. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, because I was trying to change Baird a second ago. <laughs> okay. I feel like if I was in this scenario, I would just leave. You set the bomb. Leave. Fair point, yeah. <laughs> oh, instead of fighting this thing? Yeah. I mean, but look at this nice, con like, convenient place we have to fight. Yeah, it's like, a beautiful arena. You almost, you almost have to honor it. <laughs> oh, oh, you got another trophy. 
Um, <laughs> what is life without the trophies? So, uh, if for the viewers watching, I intuited <laughs> from their very explicit telling of what I should do that I should use some lightning-based magic, which I saw Cloud didn't have, and I presumed. Oh, okay. I presume Cloud wouldn't didn't have it, so Barrett must. Oh, and he, he might did. have forgot to equip it actually. A thunder for for Cloud? Yeah, maybe. Oh, in the main menu. Yeah, because I think maybe at some point someone gave it to you. We might have missed that. Sorry. He had it though. It's a nice <laughs> for me to have to like. I feel like he probably doesn't have it yet because the game does have oh, a no, very Barrett clear. Has it, yeah. No, Barrett has it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Never mind. Sorry. No, bro, we're good. I'm trying. I'm trying to tell you, like, we're <laughs> good. We're doing great. Yeah. When you get your first materia for Cloud, the game is very much like, hey. You, you have to do this. <laughs> Put this thing on his sword right now. I love the detail. You can actually see the material crystals in the sword. It's amazing. It's so cool. I mean, what what they've done is like they've created truly iconic images like this many times over. Many times yeah. over. Just even the, it's just so crazy how like loaded this game is. Like, because this game only focuses on uh, the Midgar mistake. section. Yeah. And I just love everything about like the design of Midcar and all like the, I guess you can call it like heavy-handed metaphors of like you know how all like the rich people are living yeah. on the top plate and then you have uh, the slums above underneath. It, yeah. yeah, it's but a it's, great metaphor though. Yeah, no, because I, even though it's heavy-handed, like it's the it's ex executed like cool. Yeah, and they don't they don't hit that. I mean, they hit that note pretty hard. Okay, bro, I'm trying to. Which get I there. feel like it would be one thing if they're just like, yeah, this is how the world works, but they actually show you like exactly. they build it out. Yeah, exactly. And it feels like plausible. That, I think that's how it works. There should be a. I I, I would say though, I think that there should be a, like if I use an item, there should be a little time before I can use it again. Oh yeah. Well, I think you can. Yeah, because the you have to use ATB to oh, use an item. Oh so okay. I I didn't that's that. kind of how it works. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, because it's like if you let it get fully loaded, then you have two back to back, but. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. You that's, can queue up like two commands at once. I felt like that. That felt like that had to be the case. I was like, this. Yeah. Is, um, no, I agree. I hate when games let you just heal like right away as much as God you want. God is too close. <laughs> oh. Oh, I could have attacked the field generator itself. <laughs> Am I not breaking the thing? Yeah, you just found what it was yeah, trying to get little, you to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're hitting, yeah, you gotta hit that spot, yeah. Ooh. Now it's red. Um, <laughs> what could that mean? Nothing good. <laughs> it probably doesn't mean anything. <laughs> oh. He's perched on the wall now. <laughs> Sounds like a Barrett problem. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> No! <laughs> bro, I know you know there's nothing over there, bro. Oh, Cloud's about to die. That's Cloud's problem. <laughs> the, I keep looking at the green bottom things, and I'm like... Yeah. Oh, I'm good. So, oh, But then yeah, I'm not good there. at all. Good call, though. No! <laughs> Would you ever want to write for a video game? Oh my god! I'm, came up? I thought this was an interview for that. <laughs> <laughs> Make your case. <laughs> this is not an all the developers are watching. <laughs> this is a, wait, I thought that, I thought that's what we were doing here. Square Enix is on the phone. <laughs> no, I mean, what it healed itself? Uh, did it? Oh, I, I think it just brought up its shield oh, yeah, again. Yeah. I mean, several other of our authors appeared at the Game Awards. One yeah. after another, which was wild. Yeah. Really? Well, Matthew McConaughey is technically one of our authors, and then Jordan <laughs> Peele was there. <laughs> yeah. He just released a book. Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> you think? <laughs> I feel like there's a chance he might have gotten invited regardless. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying his book. I feel like he's probably really serious about it. And hey, we got to interview Sam Lake, and it was great. Yeah? That was cool. I watched it. <laughs> I watched Oh, no. Hold on. Sorry. One second. Oh, yeah, Bear. Bear needs some love. They both, yeah, he does. Um, I'm like, hold You're on like, a I second. got too excited about authors. <laughs> my brain. This thing is not doing nothing. Hmm. 
Oh, Ooh. that's how that move works. Okay, it's area of effect. Oh man, this thing is relentless. <laughs> it is. Um, just on the safe side for him. That is like, I do feel like this enemy is a bit beefier than I feel like it should be for where you're at. But in I respect the game. it though. As you like, I, I respect them respecting me. I, so I, I realized this from, I think I, Hollow Knight. So I. Hollow Knight made me feel this more clearly. Wait, it's immune? It must be because it has its shield up now, maybe. Yeah, it changes to being immune to the thunder lightning at one point. I I really like uh, games. Trial by fire? Yeah, I like Cloud Ooh. Please move, bro. <laughs> I really like um, feeling like, oh, okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm understanding, I'm understanding. Oh, I think oh. You have a, oh, you have a limit break. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Those are from the original, too. Yep. Taking damage and staggering damage. Got you, got you, got you. Okay, but how do I... You don't need... You can just select it from the menu, I think. Okay. I don't think you need ATB to execute it. So, yeah, you can do it whenever you want. Oh, yeah, there it is. Let's Rainbow. Fucking go. Oh, yeah, cross slash. The field generator is yeah, the weak spot. that's the weak spot, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Let's go. Nice. Look, I gotta get it. Get the get in what's good. <laughs> well, there's no shield. I also love, like, what do you think this thing does 99% of the time here when it's not? Off? <laughs> it's sweeping the floors and <laughs> cleaning the bathrooms. Yeah, they look like the tail can, like, make the window, clean windows and stuff. Um,. By a goddamn what? <laughs> Scorpion. <laughs> oh, this is very literal. Like, if you want to do a no-hit run, like, how would you escape that? Yeah, I don't, I don't even. I so, did see someone saying that, like, they learned a lot about how to strategize the combat in this by watching people do no-hit runs. Yeah. Yeah. What I like about the game—this is a tough one. The bo I like all the bosses in this game. There's usually like very specific strategy that you have to employ you need that that's the thing sorry that's the thing that makes um these games not just mashers yeah without yeah. that stuff it's, it gets really corny really quick yeah, which totally. i mean that's kind of how i felt about 15. yeah that's like, how 16 it was just... is kind of dodge fat parry dodge parry hit dodge parry hit yeah what i didn't like about 16 is they gave you all these cool powers but there was no strategic reason they were to, all like, the same really use them. yeah exactly I, i've been hiding here because i'm scared but i guess i should oh oh they're fuck. like Oh, yeah, there was debris rubble up over ahead. there yeah, that would have protected you. Um, I didn't kill you. I know. <laughs> he didn't kill me, he's right. <laughs> Look at those little numbers you're doing, Barrett. Oh. Good job. Good lord. Oh, he destroyed He's doing his best. Yes. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, no. No! Oh, I what? Could, I, but I, you I do have a up? phoenix down. Oh, yeah, you could revive him. Oh, I have to use the item. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, you only have one, though. Gotta keep him alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm protecting with my body. <laughs> Luckily, you have plenty of time here because you picked the 20, 20 minutes. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lesson in humility, folks. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lesson in humility. Don't be an asshole. Yeah, oh. if you like, oh, yeah, go behind, behind there. there. Yeah. You should be good there. Oof. Oh. Scary. <laughs> so you do like 12. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I'm not far. I was like, can I do this and get away? And it was not even close to being possible. Um, I don't know if I am hitting him. The, oh no, it's just it's just normal now. Just hit him not regular. Yeah, I think you're doing You're doing pretty good damage now. And he's focused on bears. So this is good. <laughs> Focus on that guy. Wow, it's fucked up. You're real quick to sacrifice bear. I had oh. to. This is serious. <laughs> look at look at my health. I'm running out of potions. I was like I, I was like on the shit. Um, I wonder how the grenades work. Barrett does have cure if you run out of. Oh, he does. Potion. Oh, yeah. right now. Yeah. 
He does not. He does. <laughs> you said it before, but I, I, I thought he, I, I was like, surely that's not true. Surely that's a lie. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow, we are. <laughs> wow. All the drama's gone. <laughs> I mean, you do only have 12, now 8 MP, so. That was very close. Thank you for the reminder. We needed it. We were going to die without it. <laughs> oh. oh, there you go, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, he's about oh, to yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna let him. No, not you. Not you. Oh, he doesn't have because of the ATB. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now he has the ATB, so I can quite calmly do. Yeah, this is like nice because then you get a, a, a moment of true, like. Um, yeah. It is interesting though because like time is still moving just very slow. So, so like if a bunch of bullets are coming at you, they're still yeah. coming. It's one of the better like interpretation of a really difficult fuck. Why do I not dodge that move? Because I'm an idiot. It's one of the harder issues with that like that, that the thing we're talking about. Oh, that was almost such a good dodge. Cloud, you have half your HP. <laughs> Calm down. Look at his hair. <laughs> He's a melodramatic person. He can't help it. <laughs> That's like, I love you get some flashbacks in this game of when he was a teen. And I just love that he has the exact same yeah. hairstyle. He's, that way. <laughs> He's never been like really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, I'm going to myself. Oh my god. Oh, you almost have your limit break for Cloud. That'll help. That should help. I right, really gotta fight this guy up now because now he's just bothering me. He's saying too long. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was that's why we were saying that same move. Heal up and regroup. Oh my god. Oh, limit break. Nice. Both. And also he'll heal. Have a little heal. <sighs> Gotta heal up. Oh! You're <laughs> lying! Oh, I didn't even You're think it was possible lying. to miss with that attack. You're lying, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. That was, oh, they did You, you decided to do a cutscene, Cloud. That was a problem. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if it's because the debris was coming down. Yeah, it was definitely because. Oh, I mean, it was. No. It's, it's okay. It would be like, cool it's to have not a, okay. It would be cool to have a great ending. You ruin our cinematic chance at. Well, if you do that focused thrust attack, I think that staggers him. Oh, see, this so is that should be under abilities. I was going to. I was going to hit Big Bear himself, but you're right. Let's just get to it. Oh God. Oh, nice. That always is that. It's it's kind of you see how there's like that orange gauge on Oh, that's his like Yeah, the focus thrust like it, it increases that gauge more, I think. Did you come? Oh, not yet. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, now it's got the like legs that will heal it if you don't oh, take no. them out. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get in fast. Sorry, what so what what is it? It has So the, it has these like left and right legs now that can heal it. So hit the kill the legs, I guess? Yeah. All right, right These here. ones? Yeah. Yeah, it's you're chipping away. Yeah, there you go. Finally, clap for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's almost dead. You got this. Don't let up. I was hoping it would also hit the other one, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stupid. Yeah, he's, he's going down. So close. We're so close. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, what is it doing? It was healing itself, I think. But just a oh, tiny. Oh no! <laughs> Me. You got this. But let's not. Let's not be. Let's just. I know. Oh, I have no more. Let's be. If um, you use the ether on Barrett, then. How much? He's Barrett almost have? dead. I think you got this. Yeah, but going for the kill. I know. <laughs> I should. I should have kept the glory mode and just been like confident. No. <laughs> I've learned my hum humility lesson earlier. I offered to let you play on easy. No, 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 I would never do that. My pride would never ever let me do that. 
Never ever would I do that. Little do you know that we've already upset oh. so many Final Fantasy fans on our channel. <laughs> Ooh, got a level up. Good job. Too bad it's not a level up where you know you get like full HP. Right, come back. on. Now I have to run still. Yeah. That took a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that super fast. <laughs> it's almost like it'd be cool if I got was given a timer option. So we could edit out the middle. In the <laughs> original, during the like boss fight, you do have a counter during the boss fight. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember, yeah. So, you know, I, and it's, I'm glad to be doing this because I've oh, been... I guess... Oh, so I'm from oh, here. Okay. Well, that's convenient. So convenient. Yes, okay, this at least now, climactic, something was done. <laughs> Everyone can feel good about it. You hear that? If I would have lost, that would have been pretty trash. <laughs> Come on, we've got to move. This is a no deaths run, is what I meant. <laughs> then he dies right away. I mean, technically, you did die. You just used a phoenix no, stone. No game over. No game. He was unconscious. He was I was dead. unconscious. <laughs> yeah. There's no no, um, ga no game overs. <laughs> You're like, actually, <laughs> you failed on all fronts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did a good job with this. Oh wait, my bad. There the stairs. I always want to just roll. I'm gonna, you know, just roll, yeah. roll, roll. <laughs> I think it might be the left first trigger left that two? like makes you run faster. Oh uh, yeah, I think it's actually the right R2 if I remember. Oh, I have to find them. But that's only like when you're out of combat. You, you like a little sprint. Yeah, you never have to sprint in combat. <laughs> Maybe you're just sprinting by default in combat. I do like that it's kind of like Barrett's just like, every man for himself, good luck. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> he doesn't want to pay him. <laughs> right. He was like, he's like, he's like, like I already job's did over, my, yeah. he already blew up the thing, so the job is done. You know, I mean, at this point, cool. it's like if Cloud died, you don't have to pay him. That's what he's, that's what he's, that's yeah, what he's saying. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, Jesse. <laughs> like, it's actually, it's actually like wild to think that like how much I know about a game that if I, is, is this the right way? I think so, yeah. yeah. Like, I know about, like, Zack and stuff, even before I've been playing the game. Like, that's how deeply embedded <laughs> their whole thing is. Like, their lore, the lore of this game is, like, canon to the world. So it makes sense for a remake. Like, there's a lot of things that don't need a remake, yeah. but this one is, like, the one that is most clear. Like you said, we've always been waiting because it's, like, almost... Yeah, and it was basically like, even if, I, I think they did an amazing job, but even if they didn't, it was guaranteed to make a lot of money because it's so popular. But yeah, uh, and I, but I do like that they try to do something specific, you know? Yeah. Sometimes they bank on the money thing, like, I don't know, like the Disney Corporation with Star Wars, yeah. for example, and they don't put F, like, or they do put effort, but they play it so safe. I mean, maybe, I don't know if you guys, you guys play this more than I have. I don't know if you guys would say this is like a safe take or not, but I think they try to do like a really, like, this feels like a really nice future like like or present thing that cares about where it came from too yeah yeah i think a lot of the developers that worked on this game they worked on the original in like a smaller capacity because they were a lot younger wild yeah i mean it's also wild because seven was around like when tetsuya nomura was like becoming yeah, a character he was designer the, yeah, i think in yeah, the he public was the consciousness designer, though, for but the matt you're the, i think about that too because games are such a young medium yeah like obviously like people like him people like shigeru miyamoto are alive that's like yeah that's like it is cool yeah if not like not even i don't even know who you want to say like if that's like the founders of a medium you know what i'm saying like the true <laughs> yeah. founders 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 in a real way are alive today still it's really like kind of a it's kind of wild to imagine that to think about like the guy who made mario the first or the first donkey kong can at least consult on some level because I don't know if he's like fully making games right now, but I can like fully consult on games now. And games have grown. Like, can you imagine anything that's grown as much from the end like that? I know, oh, yeah. fuck. And it's crazy to think like how much games have come just in the whatever. What has it been like 40 years? Yeah, it's since called 40 years. I mean, imagine it's where they're going to be in like another 40 years. It's crazy. Dude, I'm scared of like what <laughs> full, full, full VR with like oh, haptic yeah. feedback all over your body. It's going to be oh, like God. with all these guns and stuff. Like it's getting, it's already scary to me. Like it's already not like nothing 
We had an author in the other day, and Shalia was telling her how I play horror games in VR, and she was you just do? so excitedly responded, so you've killed people? <laughs> I don't know how you can do that. I can't even You're play brave. horror games in the dark. Let alone you play like VR. Fi Final Fantasy 4? I mean, Resident Evil 4? Yeah, I did Resident Evil... It was Resident Evil Village, which was 7. But yeah, that was a good time in That's VR. That's terrifying. I played... I played on what you call it with someone though, and this is obviously very less scary compared to what you just <laughs> described. Um, um, oh my god, why you never have to ATP, dude? What are you using it on? He's so <laughs> close though. There you go. Like, what was he? Like, what are you doing? Like, you're not healing me. <laughs> I'm already like, like when he's like yelling at my support team. <laughs> I tell you, once you play DPS, you become a worse person. <laughs> Is that what you do with like your editing team? You're like, why aren't you healing my writing? <laughs> <laughs> That's why writers are assholes mostly. But I uh, play Drew, so I know how to be a healer too. And I also like really like revision, so I respect it a lot. Uh, uh, this is the kind of game where it's gonna be so cool when you get really good and you're automatically like almost like like flawlessly moving from person to person and oh yeah and moving through the menus i could i can imagine i can I, I, yeah. I can already see how cool like what it would feel like to be good at this which i'm not yeah. now and even a lot of the like a lot of the attacks you're selecting from the menu now you could shortcut. you could do a shortcut with yeah them. i think if you hold l1 pops up maybe when you're in combat. Oh, combat the worst though is when you get really good at a game and then you like leave it for a year or two and come back that's why i'm afraid like, to go back oh, to xenoblade <laughs> Cause it's like I'm almost done, but it's so convoluted. It's so intense. <laughs> Six people at once. <laughs> Do you ever real time ish? Did either of you play Type Zero Final Fantasy? No, I never played oh, it. I, I remembered it, but I, I don't oh, think yeah. I played it. You have to it. manage like a, so many characters, and I just I couldn't. <laughs> okay, so this that that was a game changer. That L one was a game changer. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is too much menu stuff, just for the fluidity of stuff. Like for a fun factor, like it's yeah, fine either yeah. way, but like fun that makes it funner. Sure you could. Because it's like if you're gonna be in real time combat, you gotta yeah. be in real time combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you want to, it's almost good your chance to like collect collect yourself. Oh, I really shouldn't be chilling at all. I forgot I gave myself <laughs> eight seconds to do this whole thing. <laughs> um, Which did you ever play Kingdom Hearts at all? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. there. I see a lot of Kingdom Hearts in this. Yeah, I mean, same team yeah but it's like there are so many boss battles in kingdom hearts where i'm like i was so close to hitting cure but you killed me first but that but cure it was a whole thing in that game yeah <laughs> especially <laughs> number <laughs> especially <laughs> number two when they figured it out because it was too easy they, they i saw someone actually write like they did a whole thing about potions and curing mm. and they talked about how in number two because it took up so much of your mp gauge or whatever like it became a way different game um than it was in one where like effectively it made things like way too easy all of a sudden mm, yeah. for some people. Every time I do like a replay of Kingdom Hearts, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do all the secret bosses this time. I'm really gonna like 100% it. Off? And then I start doing it. I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> I was gonna say like, yeah. That, oh man, those secret Sephiroth fights, those are like some of my favorite and boss Hercules. fights. Oh yeah. Those those are those are key, those are like big deal. Again, that, that's a, but that's another place. Like funny enough, like grew his legend. Like yeah, definitely. Because yeah. all of us play that, and everyone knew about like this other thing. Fuck, I'm kind of ODing. I'm kind of ODing. I'm kind of ODing. <laughs> I, I'm ODing a lot. Do you know who did the voice of Sephiroth in the original Kingdom Hearts? Uh, no. It was uh the guy from In Sync. I think his name is Lance Bass. The guy from In Sync. I know Lance Bass. Or is, is. It, <laughs> is it? Is it Lance Bass, right? Or is it Backstreet Boys? Oh no, yes, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, it was him. Yeah. <laughs> I know Lance is. Okay. That's a In Sync member. Like Shalia the, behind the camera is shaking her head. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like that's important information. <laughs> he's and he's like I feel like he's more relevant again recently somehow. Oh. Yo, I'm, these guys are actually whooping me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna oh, yeah, I think you. with those guys, you need to like counter attack. It helps. So if you go into Punisher mode and then guard, it um yeah you do like that counter thing. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. I don't even know how to guard. Just wait. Um, I think R1 is to guard. You like yeah. Oh, you see, like, I have not been guarding at all. <laughs> yeah, it's I've... only really useful for the counter attack because that because you can dodge out of most attacks. 
But yeah, there's a lot. Okay. I would yeah, the combat do... system in this is... It's it's pretty easy to grasp, but I like how it it gets, like, a lot deeper, and you can really go crazy with it. Especially when you get all, like, the materia options later on. It's pretty cool. Oh. Oh, it's hold the charge. Press it again. I was like, bro, okay. Okay. I pressed triangle. Stop it. <laughs> You have to, like, hold Whoa. it. <laughs> oh, just in time. <laughs> just like you like planned. 12. 20 minutes is what I chose. <laughs> and I t played it on normal. And I would have said hard if that was available to me. High like five. That would have been a very different experience. <laughs> you're like, she's like, you would have gotten fucked up. <laughs> no faith. I was keeping, trying to keep it interesting for the viewers. <laughs> but I've been thinking about doing something like this for myself, actually. Like, especially the beginning of games. Because there's obviously, like, a lot of story stuff in the beginning. Yeah. Like, thinking through, like, effective moments in games. I think Last of Us, the first one, is, like, my really, like, good example of that. I think that that beginning where you're playing is, if y'all play Last of Us? Yeah. First the one, first one, yeah. I feel like that beginning is, like, why that show had a movie. I mean, a TV show. Like, that beginning yeah. was so specific. And to, like, be sat in that person's perspective. It is funny because in my memory, she was, like, five or six. But she's actually a lot older than that. Yeah, it's also yeah. funny because I played it when it first came out. And everyone had the experience where they were like, wait, that wasn't the girl on the cover. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, didn't yeah. know. That. I, I played it a little bit later, but I didn't know any of that stuff. And I remember being, like, it was so affecting to be, like, so powerless in a game. Yeah. She yeah. Could, and, uh, most you could just, like, open a door maybe. And everything goes to shit, and you're mostly just an observer. And that was just such a smart. That game really understood perspective, because in the in the yeah, in, I love that moment where you're like in the car and you can kind of look around. Look around. There's just chaos happening all around you. And that's kind of like going with your leading an alien example of like you don't need to know exactly what is happening in the world. Something bad is happening, Get and you got to go. Here. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And it gives you a, a it's 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 emotional like world building, you know. And that's to me like the emotional reality of the characters is always what counts most. There's, and that's what I that's what I try to that's what I really mean by that because it doesn't really matter. Other than that, there is like a fun and a richness to like developing a specificity. Another thing that to me is kind of like if you've done the RPG thing, if you've done that space, you like having like. You almost don't like it, but you almost do kind of like extremely intense menu systems. The menu systems in some of these games are yeah. insane. I've, but in um, number 16, I'm kind of like disappointed by it's like sword, belt, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, and, and, they and, were definitely very light on the RPG elements. And it's just one direction. This sword is better than that sword 100%. This sword is yeah. better than that sword 100%. It's like, yeah, there's not a lot of intricacy into like the stats and like weaknesses for enemies. And that and speaks like to that. it something else because there's no there's no diversity in, um, in a, like tactical style. Yeah. No, that was like one of my big critiques of that game too. And it was weird because they had like the system to explore that because you had all the different icons, I think they were called. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like you said, they all basically function the same way at the end of the day. It's like do damage, block, dodge, and that was And I it. hated when you went into the Akon mode during every single boss fight because I'm like, it's just going to be the same, but... A and B, but yeah. it looks good. But that's my... So, and it speaks to, like, the very first thing we were talking about is when you sort of sub in fidelity for, like, meaning. Mm, like, yeah. to me, that's why I say I never... I don't care if it's in 1K or whatever. Like, it's that, like... That's why I was saying, like, to me, like, the this game is very beautiful, and I do care about that, but... Like, how we, am I engaged? I The reason I feel engaged because I was really almost going to die from that thing. That is like what I felt interested by. So I had to like really pay attention. And, and you know, that feels interesting to me versus, so I, the game that I had been talking about with those other people in terms of, um, they were feeling, they were they were, they were knocking um, Tears of the Kingdom for like these frame rates or something at some, or it's like not, high, it's lack of high fidelity stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, 
that game allows you to express yourself in certain in ways that you could never do in God of War, for example. Yeah, yeah. And I love God of War, but at some point it's like, dude, like, okay, you can jump over that rock, man. I saw you just. <laughs> I, I You're saw, seven feet tall. <laughs> and you just. You got Saquon Barkley's you, calves. You brought, or... uh, Colossus to its knees <laughs> moments ago. But now this real rock, and I'm not saying that's a, that bad of a thing, but even the puzzles were like condescending after 10 seconds. The guy's telling you, well, maybe if you move that water wheel. Oh my God, I yeah, hated that. I feel yeah. like at the very least, have that be an option to turn it off. And I mean, I like Mamir. He's really like, actually, to me, a good companion. Oh, yeah, in terms of, like, he's like funny him, yeah. and like other stuff in the puzzles. It was kind of, I'm You're just, on fire, brother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's good. Um, like, I'm just saying that, like, if I have to choose the fidelity, and mind you, uh, that game is also so it's the one take game, you know, like the whole oh, thing. Oh yeah, I do love that aspect. That, of that game. shit was that incredible. Was so cool, yeah. Like, na- like, like, uh, as like directorially. Yeah. But what I love about that game was like how like it, the pace of it, how it makes me feel like I'm getting beat. I, and I play on the second to hardest, just yeah. so everyone knows. Um, not the not yeah, I play on Give Me No Mercy, not Give Me okay. God of War. Yeah. I just wanted that to be clear, and I beat it. Uh, no big deal. <laughs> but, um, but like, it's not like I ever thought about, and even this game too. I'm not. I I do care. I mean, I'm sure in some level I am thinking about like, no, I am. Look at the look at the look at the great great of the on that sword. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. But like, it doesn't affect. Like, it's like that's the extent of my care for that. Yeah. And it's also like, if at the end of the day, having that or not having that is choose. between like someone getting to go home and see their family at the end of the day. I would rather they go home and see their family. Right, that's 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 going deeper into like 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 the crunch stuff, and and I, I, I you made it like the ethical version. I was gonna say <laughs> if we're between that and making the game the main gameplay loop fun, I'm choosing the main gameplay loop because yeah. I because and, and I I want that's why I say like when I feel like the current media not to say no it's real because like. I think I got to skip it because I was so out of games for a while. But yeah. I feel like the current media has like trained all of us to be like very engaged with fidelity. Yeah. Even like on like the, and like I don't even have a t- for a long time I didn't even have a TV that could do some of the stuff that they're talking about. It's true, yeah. And it's to the point where like even pretty much every game you even have the option of like choosing what if you want like game a play mode frame or, rate or yeah. Mode. I'm always choosing the one that makes the game better. Yeah. Like I don't have that TV. I mean, I, and I like a nice sound system. I like to hear it. I, this looks beautiful to me, but I'm like. You could lose the. You could get distracted. Where to me, it's again like the example for writing is. I'm thinking about this because I, I have my students. My students are actually super dope in the workshop I'm teaching right now. But all writers, you can write a really, really pretty sentence, but it didn't make you feel anything. Mm, yeah, it's like that fidelity thing. Like a lot of people can make a write a pretty sentence. It's hard to make someone feel something, and so. It's why, like, five years later, people are still going crazy for Hollow Knight, which is a very simple, simple, simple game, but it it made you feel something because of, like, the name. I mean, also, again, it's, that also was a high-fidelity game in its own right. It has hand-drawn assets every fucking way, everywhere, and, like, it's, yeah. uh, the sound is incredible. It's also, like, picking a style and committing to it. All the way through. But, like, there's, like, this, like, now as the processing power grows, and it's another reason why I think, like, on a fundamental level, I rock so hard with Nintendo. So like they're kind of like, yeah, we're not doing that. We're not playing the, like the fidelity yeah, game. Yeah. And where again, obviously, sometimes they fall on their faces. Sometimes they're super mean. They're super, you know, corporate stuff get get can get weird. But in some ways, they also to me, I think they're also super not corporate in some ways. They're very more like just we are us and kind of fuck you. Yeah. Which a lot of corporations would never say, like. The way their attitude towards online is so anti like growth, but they're like, you know what? This is how we, this is our like more ethical stance and we're standing to it. And I kind of respect that, even though sometimes it can get ridiculous. Yeah, they definitely seem to be most cons- more concerned with innovation than a lot of the other developers. And or they have like a family. Page. It's like, this is our, this is our us and we're going to try to do stuff with this. Yeah. And we're not going to just adhere to like the, the screaming masses online. And I like that because like, if you yeah. play games, some of the screaming masses online fucking they they suck. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of yeah. like like I, I really like from software as a developer too because yes. they have like their style and people complain about it a lot and they're just like they don't care. They they, they he does they do their thing and they we can't make everything by committee like this. Yeah. Like I'm and I don't want to listen to the dudes who play Call of Duty. No, no offense to y'all. <laughs> like, but y'all are evil and terrible actually. Like, <laughs> see here, here the here's your here. <laughs> And now we learn what that is. But like yeah, some of these people are are terrible people, and they 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 want. You can't listen to them as a creative person. You can, but like not all the yeah. not not like you can't be in the message boards all the time. 
Though I will, of course, like caveat for the companies we're talking about. They are, you know, Japanese based yeah. companies and they're going to listen to the Japanese public True. slightly more than the Western. Which I also appreciate <laughs> because America <laughs> yeah. has too much say in too many things. Fair but point, that's facts, yeah. though. That was the healing materia. Yeah. And um, I will enjoy like what we're seeing right now in the game is we are seeing the aftermath of them setting that bomb off which I'm sure the original does have, but it definitely isn't like quite so in your face and There's look at how people this. are suffering. Yeah. That's a really, really good point because it's not some easy thing. Yeah. Like we are eco-terrorists trying to save the planet and there's collateral damage. Yeah, I think in this version of the game, it's definitely not afraid to explore that aspect of it like further, the whole idea that, oh, okay, like are we taking things too far? Is it? Are we? Is it like really worth the means to an end and to do all these things for the greater good? That like every character kind of has their own like this is how far I'll go or this is how I feel about it. Yeah, that's beautiful. My name is Nana Kwame Ajay Brunia. I'm the author of this book, Chain Gang All Stars, which is about an imagined future in which convicted wards of state can opt out of a sentence of at least 25 years and participate in death matches. If they survive three years in this bloody system, they are rewarded with freedom. You can read if you want. And you can find it at any major bookstore. It's a fact. Now available in paperback, right? And in paperback now. So you can't bludgeon people with that as well, but other than that, it's the same. And also audiobooks, so you can bludgeon people in a video game while listening to it. Yes. Wow. <laughs>